Hi everybody, John Paul Brionis here from InMotion Hosting, and thank you for joining us for another video in our WordPress in Motion series. Today I'm going to show you how to move your WordPress site from a subfolder to your root directory. Notice how my website is coming up on example.com slash WordPress. I'm going to show you how to move this from the slash WordPress to the root directory so that way your website shows up on just example.com. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is create a backup of your website. If you don't know how to do that, a pop-up will come up on the screen. Go ahead and click that to go to our full article on how to make a backup. That way you can revert back if any problems happen. Uh, in my case, I'm just going to do a backup in, in cPanel. So I'm going to go ahead and log into cPanel and just create a backup. In my case, I'm going to use Softaculous since I use Softaculous to install, to install my WordPress site. So once I log into cPanel, I'm just going to go to my Softaculous. I'm going to go to my application installs. There you'll see all your websites listed. This is the one that I'm working with right now. And I'm just going to click this backup button here. And then I'm going to choose my directory and database and then just click backup installation. Once the backup's completed, I'm just going to close this tab out and go back to my WordPress site. At this point, we're going to log into the dashboard of our WordPress. If you don't know how to do that, a pop-up will come up on the screen. Go ahead and click that to go to our full guide on how to log into your WordPress admin dashboard. All right, once you log in, we're going to go to Settings this will take us to the general, general settings page. If you're not, you can always click general here, which will take you to this main general settings page. Okay, from here under WordPress address URL and site address URL, we're going to change this to the new address. So in this case, I'm just going to change it to example.com. And on for the site address, I'm going to also change it to example.com. At this point, I'm going to click save on the bottom here, save changes. Notice how it's saying error 404. This is because I just logged out and I changed my address. So it's trying to log in now on example.com, but we haven't moved the files yet. Okay. So from this point, we're going to actually log into back into cPanel. Okay, once you log into cPanel, under Files, we're going to go to File Manager. You'll see all your files located here. And we're going to navigate to that slash WordPress folder. In my case, it was in this public underscore HTML folder. So I'm going to open that. There's the WordPress folder there. I'm going to open that, and I'm going to select all these files. I'm going to hit copy at the top here, and I'm going to copy these files up to the public HTML folder, so I'm going to delete the slash WordPress at the end, and then hit copy files. At this point, my file should have been copied up a level. I'm going to take a look up just to make sure. There you go. I see all my files there. And at this point, you can go back and delete that WordPress uh, folder as long as you know all your files are here. Um, in my case, I'm just going to actually rename it so that way it's no longer loading. Just to WordPress.old. Now we know that my public underscore HTML folder, which is my root directory for example.com, contains my WordPress site. At this point, I should be able to actually go to my site now under example.com. Notice how my site loads. In some cases, you may have to go inside and check your permalinks. A pop-up will come up on the screen. Go ahead and click that to go to our full article on how to reset your WordPress permalinks. Thank you for joining us for another video in our WordPress in Motion series. Feel free to like this video and comment below so we can bring you more great videos in the future. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. 
Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.